Oh, hello there. Before Monday's election, the Green Line team asked three of the city's top mayoral candidates questions that'll help you get a better sense of their character. Here's what John Tory, Gil Penalosa, and Chloe Marie Brown had to say. Premier Bill Davis, who was Premier a long time ago, but he taught me about listening, he taught me about moderation, he taught me about balance, he taught me about uh, that kind of consensual decision making that I think serves us well in a city of three million people where you're going to have different aspirations and different views on everything and you have to achieve a balance. Anyone that actually gets things done, because too many people in governments talk, 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 but they don't do. So my inspiration, some people want to be mayors. A very few want to do as mayor. I'm into like activists. I like Greta Thornburg, I like Rihanna, I like even um, Jamila Jamil, who kind of is a little problematic at times, but it's just like she uses her platform to talk truth to power. And those are the people I admire the most because it's like, yes, you have a ton to lose by doing it, but if you don't do it, the stakes are so much greater. Service to others is the rent that you pay for your time on this earth. It's a quote by Muhammad Ali. And I truly believe it because when I think about the fact that like my parents were always at work, the reason why I'm here is because a bunch of adults made it their business to get into my business. Even if I'm materially poor, I am so rich in family, in morality, in different things that are intangible because the community always steps up for me. My approach to life is to try to do good, try to help others, try to be a good member of the community. Uh, I've been very lucky to have been able to work in over 350 cities in all continents. And I think that part of what I need to do is to give back. Yes, I have a set of principles and I guess they're so often repeated to my kids that they once gave me a set of uh, handkerchiefs, which is in itself an old fashioned concept to some extent, with these sayings embroidered uh, on them. Uh, and uh, it starts with, and I'm no particular order, uh, the price of success is hard work. Uh, another one said, you know, when in doubt, try the truth, which really spoke with about the fact that, you know, the truth is usually the best, as painful as it sometimes can be. When I came to Canada thinking that I was going to be here for two years while my children would learn English, and then I fell in love with Canada, I fell in love with Toronto, and I chose Toronto as my home for the rest of my life. I was 23 years old, fully employed, working and still homeless. And that really, it really radicalized me because a year before I went to the Occupy protests and I was hearing all these people talking about capitalism and how it's gonna destroy things only to see it happen. It's survival of the fittest and public service should not be survival of the fittest. It is a collective effort by all of us to save each other. In grade 10, when I was sold a membership in a political party. And uh, it w I was sold the membership on the basis that it was, uh, would lead me to be eligible to go to a good party on Friday night. There was nothing ideological about it. There was nothing political about it. You know, here I am today as mayor of Toronto, and I'm sure that it traces its roots ultimately back to that membership, as I recall, that I bought for the grand sum of $1 uh, in 1969. And uh, here we are.